Tires have changed a lot over the years. No longer are we just dealing with a 15 inch or a 16 inch tire. Now you're getting a lot of custom rims coming into your shop. And also the 19.5s, which are common on some of your delivery vehicles. And the last thing you wanna do is turn away work because you can't do a 19.5 tire like we have here. Mm -hmm. Guess what? The Maverick can, and Rick's gonna show us how to do that next. So Rick, these 19.5 tires you said are getting really popular on like the delivery vehicles um, that you see a lot of out on the roads right now. And these are a little bit of a challenge to most shops if they don't have the right equipment. How does it, how are we gonna do it on this? Can you walk me through that? Yeah, it's, it's actually no different than uh, a standard tire changer um, procedure um, using a Maverick. Uh, the only difference is we're gonna put in a little couple adapters in play, right? Okay. So we're gonna have a big bore adapter on this guy, uh, which is gonna be located by that pin. And we're also gonna change out the hook. So okay. your standard hook, if you notice, has a really aggressive hook to it. Sure. Where if we were to use this on our 19.5, the bead is so stiff and thick that this would actually cut into the underside of the bead. So we wanna refrain from using that. And we wanna use the hook that comes with the large bore kit from Hunter with this tire machine as an accessory, which has a little bit flatter of a It hook. does, yeah, I can see that right there. Yeah. So it's a little bit more easier on the side. Yeah. Ones. Okay. Uh, we also were gonna use a, a wide bore um, collet adapter fitment here. So that'll fit inside here as needed, but we're still gonna clamp it down using our standard speed clamp. Okay. And then as, as we progress into this, we'll notice that our wheel lift can handle lifting one of these things, which I don't know if you've ever lifted one of these. I have, things. and I was just thinking how great it is to be able to lift it up using that. This is not a fun tire to no, lift, No, it's for not. Sure. It's not light. So as we bring it up, all, all we have to worry about on our end is getting it back onto the tire machine. So we'll just roll it onto that large bore adapter, get our, get our wheel lift out of the way, and then we're good to go. Um, we do have a different locator point in here. We have a, a pin that we have to find the uh, centering hole for. And it's, it's a slot right on. Locator pin for us. Then your adapter plate here and then we're going to clamp it down using the same process. Well, at this point, at this point, it's almost going to be just like any other tire now, once you have this in place and replace the hook. It's going to be like what we just did on our last video, almost kind of the same. Pre yeah, the you know? procedure is yeah, the okay. same now. All yeah. right, then let's roll through it. Sure. This is good. Uh, yeah, once this is centered, our, the rim should be pretty much centered to the spindle. Again, we're going to bring our upper roller down and we're going to get as close to the rim lip as possible without putting any excess pressure on there. We're going to use our diameter control button joystick here to get that close. Right there, should be good to go. And then we're going to grab our lube brush. 19.5 is really stiff, so we don't really want, to, want it to be uh, a hard process getting it up off the rim and sliding up the rim. So we're gonna use lube on this one. It's a good tech tip. Lube it up before you take it off. Process is the same. We're gonna bring our upper roller down past the rim lip here, indent, and then rotate as we move the roller down. Once we get the roller down, we can stick our lube brush in and start lubing the bead of the, the actual tire. And that'll help slide, get it on and off the rim and slide it. Move the upper roller out of the way. Do the same thing with the lower. These beads don't hold on as well, not as hard to break down as a run flat, flat yeah, tire. Yeah. So this process will take pretty much no, no time at all. No time at all. And again, putting lube brush in there 
to actually get some lube on the bead of the tire. Locate your TPMS sensor and bring down your mount head, remembering that gap with the Rick smart We talked about it in, the, in a previous video that you got a gap right here that where you need to set it to make sure that you're not contacting the rim and right. that you can actually remove the tire safely. Hey, the best thing about a video, guys, is if you're not sure, rewind it and watch it again. That's the best part. So even if you're not around after yeah. the training, look, take a walk, uh, just, you know, watch these videos and, and kind of refresh yourself. That's the great, refresher. that's the best part. As we continue on here, uh, we're gonna go ahead and insert our hook, just like we would our tire iron. So we're gonna move to the left. And as we're going down, we're gonna watch for that tire to kind of start flexing. And then we're just gonna kind of rotate a little bit. And we're gonna hear that hook drop in that tire just like that. We want that TPMS sensor pretty close to where we're, we're dismounting that top bead. So we're just gonna move it back there. Um, some you have to rotate a little bit more than others depending on how stiff they are. We have our bead sister device to make sure that while we're pulling up on this top bead, that the rest of the tire sits in the, gets pulled in the drop yeah, center. Because yeah. you need that to happen to dismount any tire. And, and if you haven't watched the other previous videos, we do have a diagram over here that tells you where to set up the TPMS just in case you forget. Just you know, in case you forget. It's, already, it's on the machine for you. At this point, we're gonna go ahead and move the joystick to the right. Again, not moving the tool hook, the tool head assembly, but we're just moving the tool hook itself. We're gonna go ahead and lift this. And you can see that how thick that bead is coming up over oh, yeah. that lip. Once we're in drop center, we'll move this out of the way here. And then we're just gonna start rotating slowly. Again, the pedals are progressive. So as you start moving, you can see if that tie, that tire is actually going to come up over the rim. If not, you might have to use a traction device here too, just to put it in, in between the tire and the rim to create that traction point so that tire can come over the rim lip there. And with it being progressive pedals, it's nice. This isn't a race. It's not. It's Take accuracy. Take your time, do it right. If you don't, you're not efficiency. sure, go slow. Yeah. Go nice and slow. So once we're off, Joe, you can see how thick that bead is. Oh yeah. Right there. I mean, that's a monster. Imagine taking that off by hand no with thanks. a tire iron. No. Use the, use the tools that Hunter is making available to do the job for you. Especially with something that's this kind of weight. Yes. We're going to rotate and make, sh make sure our TPMS sensor is pointing at the 12 o'clock position according to the diagram here. And then this is a heavy tire. In the previous video, we showed making sure that you get that lower bead in the drop center. We're actually gonna use the hook to help lift this tire on this one, because I don't I don't want to struggle that much with it. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> so we're gonna move, we're actually gonna move the mount head now, and you can see how it's picking up the tire for us here. And then we're gonna bring the lower roller up, because that's what we're gonna use to actually dismount the uh, lower bead of this tire. Once we get it on there, we're gonna look for that roller to come up over that rim lip there. And then we're gonna push left to indent and then start rotating. Once we're off, we can get the mount head out of the way so we can actually get the tire off of the wheel. There you nice have it. Nice and easy, nice and easy. It's nice and simple and guys do these by hand. I don't wanna do, I don't by, wanna hand do that anymore. by hand anymore. I'm too old for that. <laughs> Let's keep it easy. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and remount that, get it aired up and move on to the next tire. Yeah. Let's do it. All right, so we're gonna put a little lube here. We're gonna attempt to lift this. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and we're gonna position our TPMS sensor right at our, our stomachs here, right at us. And the same process, we're gonna tilt that tire down so we can get our mount head in, give it a little twist. Remembering our little cutout here to make sure that the mount head is positioned in the correct spot. And we're gonna give a little twist and rotate. 
a little bit of pressure applied. And you can see on this one, it didn't happen on the last video, but I did show it, but how the tire sits on the mount hook. Yes. You so were saying to watch out for that. You gotta watch out for that. that. Yep. So. I, when I train on these, I consistently tell the technicians and the managers that they have to be conscious of that could happen. So get in the habit, just like we got in the habit of TPMS positioning. Yeah. Even if the car didn't have it, um, to lift up on the back of this tire and get that off the hook there. Okay. Next, we're gonna go ahead and position our TPMS sensor at us again. We're gonna bring our upper roller down and we're gonna use our beat assist device to help keep this thing in drop center as we're mounting it. This one's got a pretty aggressive drop center down towards the center of the wheel. So we have to have that uh, upper roller down pretty far. I'm gonna start spinning and just seeing what happens with this. You can see our traction point starts there. And then we're just gonna rotate. It. No levers, no bars, no, no extra person. And again, for such a stiff side wall, heavy duty, heavy tire. Heavy tire. This makes life for the technician a lot better. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, yeah, so you can do these all day long and not break a sweat. Absolutely. Wow. Okay. Got the air inflation station, just set it and go. Yep. And we're ready to move on. So Rick makes it look really easy. All we need to do is inflate the tire and it's ready to go, aside from balancing it. But this is also great for, this, we don't have to just use this for our standard shop, right? This machine no. will handle larger commercial tires such as the 19.5 and even larger, right? Yeah, it'll, it'll, it'll accommodate pretty much everything up to like the heavy duty truck stuff. So. That's great. So you don't have to turn away 19.5 tires in your shop anymore. Make sure you watch more of the Hunter YouTube for more installation tips, ADOS, balancing, and a host of other fun stuff that you can learn a lot about. Thanks, Rick. We're gonna see if we can get into maybe a little bit of a challenging tire in our next video. What do you I'm think? I'm excited for that, yes. I'm not, but Rick will make it look <laughs> easy. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching.